Hey there, I'm Tony with Phil Peace, and I'm going to show you how you can check airflow across the evaporator coil using your Joblink psychrometer probes. Checking airflow is a very important yet often overlooked factor when troubleshooting an HVAC system. But using the Joblink psychrometer probes, you can check the airflow across the evaporator coil quickly and easily. First, you want to start by powering on your Joblink psychrometer probe. And its long flexible wand and sliding magnet make it very easy to connect and place in duct to take the most accurate measurement. Now in the real world, that might not be a very convenient or easy place to take that measurement. So you could also get a very good measurement placing your psychrometer probes at the grill or the register of both the supply and the return side. Now once your psychrometer probes are connected, you can open up your Joblink app and view all the measurements coming from these tools up to a thousand feet away line of sight. And once I'm in the app, I can view what my entering temperature is at the evaporator, which is about 68 right now, and my exiting temperature at the supply, which is about 49. In addition to that, I can view what my wet bulb temperatures are, my relative humidity, the dew point, and the enthalpy. Now, the Joblink app can help you check for proper airflow two ways. The first is by showing you what the delta T is, which is the difference between the temperature entering the evaporator versus the temperature exiting the evaporator. And right now it's telling me my delta T is about 19 degrees. Now, the rule of thumb in the industry is somewhere around 18 to 20 is probably a good delta T and a good indicator that you have good airflow across the evaporator coil. But in addition to that, the Joplink app will also calculate what's called the target evaporator exit temperature. So it takes the air properties of the air entering the evaporator and it calculates what the exiting dry ball temperature at the supply should be. So right now it's calculating that target to be about 51 degrees. And my actual exiting supply temperature is 49 degrees. So that's pretty close. And the Joblink app is telling me that because it's close to the target, that's a good indication that I have correct airflow going across the evaporator coil. And the Joblink app helps you easily check airflow in those two ways. And that's how you check airflow across the evaporator coil with the Joblink psychrometer probes.